In this video you will watch Checking current terrain database version Location of our computer GPWC Few details about the computer PCMCIA card details And finally how to upload the data So here is the AMM procedure, you can just pause the video and check out each step properly. So before you upload any data, just check the current Terran database via MCDU menu. Go for CMS and system report. Go to chapter 34 and press radio nav key. Okay, so the next chapter look for GPWC menu. In that you have to click on LRU ident you will get part number serial number of the computer and the terrain database version plus envelope modulation database version so just take the printout for future reference the location of our computer it's in avionics bay go through the cockpit from left railway it's on rack 851 VU the blue color one you can also access it from the forward cargo the Airbus has numbered it from top to bottom. The first one will be 811 view. So 2821 view, 831 view and 841 view, 851 view. It is easy to locate and remember by this way. So one whiskey Zulu is our fin number for this computer. So few details about EGPWS, E stand for enhance and these are the three status light for the computer external fault light is on due to weather radar and adiru cb was out and the second light is computer ok light this is the front panel which can be opened for uploading and downloading the left side is the instruction for the pcm cia uploading and downloading the right side is the status light for this upload and download in progress card change transfer complete and transfer fail this is the slot for insertion of our PCMCIA card. You can check the diagram on the left side of the slot. The upper portion is like U. The slot is U. And the bottom one is like L. So it is called a foolproof design. The card will never go inside fully if you are putting it wrong. Detail about PCMCIA card. It comes under ESDS pouch. Take all necessary precaution of ESDS item handling. I was wearing the straps on my right hand. So this is the card. Check out the upper notch. It is U shape. And the lower one is L shape as shown in the diagram on the face of the computer. So one of the important thing is right protect switch. This is the right protect switch. It should be on while uploading and off while downloading so that the data is only one way. So this is the small switch which has to be in on condition. So uploading the data. So before you insert the card just inspect the slot of any FOD. Then align the card properly as shown in the figure and slowly insert it giving a light push. If you find it difficult just remove the card and inspect it properly and take care you are putting it in right orientation. So once you are sure just push it till end and little bit slightly push you will see push to eject switch is popping out see you can see that so push to eject switch just came out little bit once it is fully in that means our card is ok you get the light in progress green steady light so you just have to wait for maybe 8 to 10 minutes until you get transfer complete light This is the Terran database version current number. We'll just update it after we successfully upload the data. So 
so here we get transfer complete light that means our data has been transferred successfully so for removing the card we have to push this push to eject button just give a hard push and the card will pop out from the slot okay so now you can just remove the card and the computer will boot up again it will take maybe 15 to 20 seconds and we'll get the computer ok light so the computer ok light indicates that our data has been transferred and the computer has accepted our current terrain database version we'll still get the external fault light because the cb was still out about radar and adiru one so the uploading has been done if we get transfer fail light then emm states the procedure of resetting the computer by opening the circuit breaker fin number 3 whiskey zulu wait for 10 seconds and close it the transfer will start again So we'll just play card new database version over here which was 607 and then we'll just check out from MCDU LRU ident same as before. So the same procedure CMS system report go for 34 chapter then radio nav option go for the next page by down arrow key GBWC menu you have to go on LRU ident again and then check out whether the Terran database number has been changed or not. Now it is successfully changed 607 and even envelope modulation database has been changed Bravo 09. So you can just take a printout and make sure that the data number which has been uploaded is same as what was mentioned on our callout or work order. So byte test has to be done after uploading the new database. It can be done from the same menu GPWC, you have to press the test key and follow the procedure. Thank you for watching, please motivate us by liking, sharing, commenting, freely subscribing to our channel and press bell icon for notification.